So here is the fabric that I'm using as well as the pieces for this dress. It's this really pretty small green leaf print that I got at Joann's. I'll make sure to link it below. Um, and here I just have the front piece and the back pieces for the dress. Um, bodice and skirt are one. And here's the sleeve. Um, I'm trying to do like a little bit of a flounce sleeve so you'll see how that turns out later on and then I have my facing pieces and I've gone ahead and sewn my darts already so that I am ready to sew there's a couple of contour darts on the front and as well as each of the back pieces and then there's a bust heart also on the front Alright, so I also did some stay stitching already um, to help those curves on like the neckline. And here I'm just attaching my sides together, um, right sides together, pinning the back pieces to the front piece. Now at the sewing machine, I'm just going to sew those two together. making sure I clip all the long um, threads and here I'm taking my pinking shears and I'm just going to fin finish those raw edges on the side seams. Now into ironing, everybody's favorite part. <laughs> I actually really like ironing, I think it's very satisfying sometimes. Um, but just making sure I iron my seams open, my seam allowances open. Sometimes I can be kind of finicky to keep open before the iron goes over it. Here I'm just using my ham to go over my um, bust darts and contour darts again just to make sure that they're lying flat. Okay, it's time to attach the shoulder seams together with the shoulder pieces. Um... And again, I'm going to take my pinking shears to trim off the raw edges of my seam allowance. Back to the iron, iron those seams open. I really need to get a new 
cover for my ironing board. I think I'm actually going to make one because I bought some batting at the store. Alright, back to the sewing. Um, zipper time. So what I am going to do um, in here is I have this clear ruler with different um, seam allowance lengths. Um, so I'm going to use the 5 eighths of an inch one, which is what the seam allowance is for this pattern. And I'm just going to draw on my line on the right side of the fabric so that my stitching line so I can pin it, pin my zipper directly to that line, if that makes sense. Alright, attaching my invisible zipper foot. This thing is awesome. Although I did have um, some trouble with this zipper kind of stitched a little bit too close to the teeth and it kind of got into the teeth. The thread did at some pieces, so I had to go back and fix that. But um, that's just something that I think will come with practice. And I'm glad I have that invisible zipper foot because it does help a lot. I just have to be a little bit more vigilant while I'm sewing. And the left side is always easier. I think that's true for a lot of people because it's you know the more natural way of sewing because you have to start at the top and go down. That's sparkling water in that can, by the way. I still don't know how to um, finish up the bottom, like the rest, like the bottom of my skirt seam without having that weird like bulge at the end of the zipper. If anybody has any tips, let me know. All right. Now I'm going to, oh, okay. Well. I guess I didn't film um, attaching the other side of the zipper, but you get the picture. There was a lot of seam ripping in that process, fixing the left side of the zipper. All right, so here I'm just pinning up the bottom of my skirt, the back of it. Um, this is what I was saying. I always get this bulge at the bottom of my zipper. Um, and I don't know why. Right there. Do so you have to go past the zipper a little bit? But maybe I'll just watch some YouTube videos on it, figure it out. I don't know. I think I need. I, I want to, um, like, maybe securing the end of the zipper tape to the fabric. Like, tacking it down will help that a little bit. But I'll have to look into it. All right, here we go. That's the problem area I was talking about. Can't really tell now, but when, when I wear it, there is a little bit of a bulge. So, all right, so facing time, going over the sewing machine, or just kidding, the ironing board. I'm gonna apply some facing. Alright, now I'm going to attach the facing at the, um, the seams, I guess they're equivalent with the shoulder seams, should match up that way at least. And I had some issues with 
this facing not fitting around my neckline perfectly and it should because I've made this pattern before so I'm not really sure what went wrong um, but you know I think that so I had traced the pattern on like a piece of like craft paper and I think there's it's not exact so that's probably why all right so I'm attaching my facing to my dress excuse me and off to the sewing machine again Yeah, I'm really not sure why. So the, yeah, I, I guess my bodice patterns were just not exact enough. So I, I traced the different bodice because I thought that the size of my shirt um, would be too small in the skirt. So that's why I did that, but it ended up being way too big. So. I kind of kicked myself in the shin for that, but that's okay. So you can see there at the end, I realized that facing did not reach all the way. Okay, just going to iron this, and this um, facing gave me more trouble than normal, so. ended up getting my ham out and that, that helped a lot um, with the rest of the ironing. All right, here I'm just doing some clipping and the facing seam allowance is gonna be about an eighth of an inch. And then the dress, the bodice seam allowance is gonna be about double that. So I went ahead and did my understitching and now I'm going to work on my sleeves. Just gonna do some basting along the top of the sleeve, like the cap, and then I'm going to sew them closed. And the basting helps the sleeve fit into the bodice armhole. So here I'm just attaching my sleeve. I like to start at the armpit hem and then kind of flip my um, bodice over onto the sleeve as you can see here. And it helps if you unzip your, your dress a little bit. Here I'm just using that those basting stitches to help make my um, sleeve fit into my bodice. Alright, time to sew. I like to sew with the bodice on the outside because it helps me make sure that I'm not um, like crimping any part of my uh, bodice because that is really obvious whenever you put the dress on and I've made that mistake a bunch before but I'm getting better at sleeves. <laughs> 